Welcome back into our FPS series and where we left off in the last video is I provided these two assets right here. So one takes you into the asset store and one takes you into a Google Drive link. So you probably don't have this player right now and I'll show you how you can make this player right here. So first of all, that's this is all you have in your scene. Always remember to reposition your game objects. And this is all you should have in your scene. You should have a player right here and nothing else. So right away, what we're going to do is first unpack this player. And then all we're going to do is delete the mesh render and the capsule mesh render. Okay, so once we've removed the mesh render from here, we want to bring the actual character right here. So we're going to go into the FPS asset that I provided down in the video description and we want to navigate into models FBX and we just want to drag in a character right here. So we have a couple of options. We can drag this guy in here. We can drag this guy in here and we can drag this character in here as well, which has some missing textures. So obviously we're going to drag and drop in our FPS body right here. And that is all we're going to need for now. Next step is to just unpack the prefab, take these two child objects and drop them inside the player. So, so that is all you have to do for now. The next thing is to import this in animator into here. So if you try and drag and drop this animator, we're going to see it doesn't work. So we're going to have to do it manually. We're going to have to find a animator. This is the avatar right here. So we're going to paste the avatar and we're currently missing a controller. So into this FPS asset, we should have all of these controllers. So we just want to look for a character controller. As we can see, a FPS body controller. So we're just going to select that and there we go. Now we have a animator. So now if we take a look at this body controller, we should see all of these parameters and we should see this locomotion right here. So we're going to see that we have a entry and right away from entry, we go into base movement. If we take a look at the base movement, we are going to see if we hit on play, we're going to see that he immediately goes into idle position right here. So that is basically all we need for now. This has already been laid out for us. And all we have to do is close this panel and we can just hit play. So immediately we're going to see a little bit of a air. We're going to see our player is floating. And we're going to see that we can see our legs or our body. In most of the games we can see that. And we're just going to fix that in a moment. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is replace this back into zero. We're going to move this geo and this SWAT hips up to ground level right here. And the last thing is we are going to reset the center of this capsule collider into 0.98. So now if we hit play, we should see a difference. So now we have fixed half of our problems. And as we can see, the last problem is our hands are placed inside the ground. Let's fix that. Let's just go into the main camera and let's see where it's placed. So now in order to fix that, we're just going to select this main camera and we're just going to lift it up all the way up into head level somewhere in here. So now if we go ahead and hit play, we're going to see the hands are just a little too high. So we can just fix that by going in here, just dropping that a little bit. And there we go. That's roughly where we want it. So it's 1.35. We're going to copy paste that into 135. And the last thing that we want to fix is we don't want to see our body. We just want to see the hands. So we, so we're going to go into geo select soldier head and soldier body and we are going to ignore camera right here so we're just going to change the layer into ignore camera after having changed this layer into ignore camera 
we gonna we're gonna go into action into the actual main camera and we're just going to change the culling mask and we are going to untick ignore camera okay so now we are done with that as we can see we have our character just floating around so the next video what we're going to do is we're going to change these animations so he actually looks like he is walking around and we are going to continue building our game so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next videos.